Ola, Capricorn, Sun, Scorpio, Moon. This is your 2020 Sun, Moon reading. When you view it is when you were meant to see it. It does not matter the time of year. And if it resonates with you, consider a personal reading. My email is below. Just email me and we can go ahead and set that up. I'm doing these in order of requests in the comments. So make sure you post yours up. First portion of this will be the, the um, description, the uh, behavioral traits of your sun moon sign, after which time I'll lay out the main cards. We'll take a quick look at your 2020. Second portion of this will be the link below to the Vimeo reading, where I'll have a deeper interpretation of the cards in addition to clarifiers. I'll divide the year up into four different sectors. So let's talk about your behavioral traits as a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Scorpio. Guess what? You guys are super duper emotional. Even though sometimes you appear as though you're cold and distant, um, there's, some, uh, there's some times when your emotions will totally consume you and carry you away and take everything over. Um, but you always have the ability to kind of work through it, okay? You have opinions that are very set. set in, you're very set in your ways in regards to your opinions, just about people, about the world. Um, but you are a person who knows exactly what's right for you. So you know your place in the world. Um, you have determination. You can be aggressive and assertive. They're kind of the same thing. As you mature, as you grow older, you're going to have a little bit less of a temper, temper. And one of the great things is that you have an ability to learn from your mistakes and their errors that you make in life. Um, you never hesitate to say what you think. Very candid. Sometimes a little too much so. Um, and people will be taken aback by that. You can be more on the serious side. You can be on a very sober and serious side. You have prejudices. Again, this is kind of set in your, set in your ways. Dug in your attitudes, prejudices. You always like to have the last word, okay, when it comes to an argument or a discussion or what have you. You put your own interests first. Sometimes it comes off as you don't really care about other people um, because you do put yourself first. And hey, I don't have any problem with that. I mean, sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do. Um, a lot of times when you decide things, it's to determine whether something is to your benefit or not. And if it's not to your benefit, sometimes you will manipulate the situation so it can be to your benefit. Good news. You guys are curious. You guys seem to want to kind of dip your toes in everything. You are super creative being. That probably comes from your Scorpio. When it comes to love, you can be very sensuous, very passionate, but not the most loyal. Okay? Anybody who can keep you around is somebody who's a keeper. Okay? Because it's very rare for you to uh, have the ability to kind of do that. Um, you do tend to be a little bit of a cynic, a little bit pessimistic when it comes to life, when it comes to people. You love a good discussion or a good quarrel with somebody, but it has to have a level of intellect to it. I mean, you're just, you don't have discussions or arguments just to have arguments. You have to kind of get something out of it. Some of you might like to get on um, forums, like say online or what have you, and really express your views or just a forum in general so that you can express your views. It's a great way for you to kind of get things out. Um, and try not to keep uh, stuff locked up inside, okay? Uh, especially because you're so emotional. Some of you might want to take up writing or some other way to kind of, you know, keep a journal or to a way to express feelings, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so let's get to your reading. So Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please invite your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Capricorn Sun, Scorpio Moons for 2020? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground? Become closer to the universe and closer to the divine. Capricorn Sun, Scorpio Moons, what do you see? What do they need to know? January, February, March. What do you see? Sorry, two cards came out. The Five of Wands in reverse. Alrighty, and make sure you check out your 2019 Sun Moon readings, see if they rang true for you because we're still in 2019. Those are my playlists or my compatibility readings. 
April, May, June, we have the Ten of Wands in the upright. I'm on the Instant Go app, where if you need an answer to a question, it's currently $4.98. I turn it in 24 hours. Ten of Pentacles in the upright for July, August, September. And then finally, I'm on Insta, I'm on Facebook, check me out on there. And if you could like, share, and subscribe in support of my videos, uh, that would be great. Sun card in reverse, end of the year, October, November, December. Alrighty, so we start off with a Five of Wands here. Um, five of Wands coming out of conflict with people. Okay, usually with people or a group, I always feel like it could have been people that you've been competing with or you had a rivalry with or just you were having some arguments with and, and you're kind of coming out of that, releasing yourself from that or and or coming to a resolution with these people. Um, you know, this could be around, around the office, this could be family, um, this could be friends, any, any, any colleagues, anything like that. You're really starting to actually kind of transition out of the conflict and, and come to some something where everyone could kind of be happy. Um, all right, so that's what I get for the first three months. Uh, April, May, June, you guys are taking on more than your share of things that you should be doing, taking on responsibilities that you should be delegating to other people. Um, some of you could just be doing manual labor, but you're taking on too much, too many sticks you guys are carrying around. This could be emotional, this could be spiritual, this could be physically. However it is, that's what's pretty much going on for April, May, June. July, August, September, though, it might have actually paid off because there are pentacles just showering from all over the place. And the reason why you might be, have been working so hard here or taking on so many responsibilities is so that in July, August, September, you actually bear... Um, get rewarded with the fruits of your labor, um, more income kind of coming in, more money going into your household, into your family, uh, more stability. Ten of Pentacles is in the upright is about all that good stuff, or it just could be financial security of some sort and building up your assets. So I guess the, the working hard actually pays off in July, August, September. And then we wrap up the year um, on a kind of somber note. I don't know if you guys are going through a little bit of a depression or just feeling a little bit unhappy. Um, end of the year, you're going to have, you might feel a little bit left out. It's ho holiday time. Um, maybe that's part of it. You're having a hard time having fun, finding positivity, being optimistic. So just know that um, in October, November, December, I see you going through some sort of blues there. Okay. So, um, Definitely click on the Vimeo link below. I'll be pulling these cards, clarifiers. We'll go into these more in depth. Uh, or consider a personal reading. Send me an email and we can go ahead and work that out. Otherwise, best of luck to you all in 2020. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.